What is it called again? Tangy garlic steak bites. <laughs> the Lord told me. Tangy garlic steak bites. Oh, yes. Gordon Street. Dang dirty apes. Speaking of dirty apes, welcome to my show. <laughs> CJ's first cooking show. Uh, I'm CJ, an average dad who loves to cook. Behind this camera is Nate. Right over there is a... Uh, Zang. Easy Eski. Zang. And uh, today, we're gonna have some fun because I'm gonna show you guys a really delicious appetizer using New York strip steaks. But before I do, be sure to like, subscribe, and also, Check it out down below. Uh, <laughs> Teespring. We're going back down, down below. below. Now it's going back down below. Uh, there's a link to go to Teespring where you can buy a bunch of cool swag, some shirts. Also, hats are in on the website. Go oh. order one. I'm going to show you guys how to make a tangy garlic steak bite appetizer tray for your New Year's festivities. Wow. So, let us commence with the ringing, and I shall do the bringing. I was gonna try to sing Lol Lang Syme, but I forgot the words. <laughs> you went, went you straight went full scuttle. scuttle. <laughs> now, today I'm gonna show you guys a really fun way to kind of uh -huh. hack. Uh -huh. Hack trick using our Blackstone we grease. Tricks. We got we got skills. Peter Pan's got kids. Peter Pan's got kids. I'm gonna use this grease trap liner to start melting our butter and incorporate some of our seasonings so that this buttery delicious sauce explodes. I'm dealing with some very unstable herbs. I'm working with some very unstable herbs. I've got some steakhouse. Seasoning. Boom. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add. If I can, if I can. What? It's like trying to figure out how to. It's like playing like, poker with my brother's kids or it's something. Cards with my brother's kids. Yeah. How many you're times right. do we have to do you're this? Right. It's like I'm sitting here playing cards with my brother's kids or something. So I'm gonna be pretty heavy and generous with the seasoning because this uh, butter is unsalted. So I want to add a decent amount of salt because you I'm in, in control. control of it. My boy. I'm gonna read. As you're my boy, Blue. Blue, you're my boy. Oh boy. Gonna go ahead and throw this back here. That's Wait, I thought you were gonna do garlic. No, 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 I know, I know. Oh, oh. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna let that start doing its thing over there while I prep, because might as well. Why Blackstone let... Betty would be proud. None of that jarred, none of that jarred garbage. business. <laughs> Got a little more aggressive than I intended. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna smash this garlic up, get it out of its little peel, its rind, its, it's little shell. home, its shell, and I'm gonna smash it and I'm gonna drop that in with the butter. All right, we've got our garlic in the butter bath, so to speak. And that's gonna kick it over there in the corner on low. Oh, by the way, right behind me, yeah. working on a 36 inch Pro Series. Pro moves, Got this Pro side series. over here, um, actually on low. I'm gonna crank it up now, because we are gonna go into... Going to Thunderdome? We're going to the Thunderdome! <laughs> <laughs> um, Two or man the Biodome. One man leave. You mm. can't, you can't go you can Thunder go to the Thunderdome. Thunder 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 sure you can. No, you can't. Free the Mahi Mahi. So right here, guys, I've got two uh, very thick cut New York strips that uh, actually, I, I like to consider this a pro move. I put this in the freezer mm. for about 20 minutes before I bring it out here. Firm it up a bit. Firm it up uh, for two reasons. Number one, it helps with the cutting because we're going to cube this. But the next part is that uh, actually Are you keep the fat? That's a big. It actually one helps. Of the glorious parts. Well, of the New York Strip, that what? giant glorious fat cap. Yeah, but not what I'm gonna be doing with not it in a because bite. it's gonna be hard to chew if it's not having time to kind of slowly render and get all yummy. Can I make fatty. a suggestion? Well, what what if I said no? Are you gonna not make the suggestion? No. Exactly. No, you need it. That's what I'm saying. Well, I would like I'm it. I'm your friend. I care about you. Okay, so what is your thought? And I, I want this to be good. Cut the whole fat cap off. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, sheesh. Whoa, hold Oof. on. Whoa, whoa. Oof. Yeah, cut the whole fat cap off. Okay. What so I am a big advocate of taking advantage of everything at our fingertips. And while there is a ton of flavor in that fat, CJ is absolutely correct. You want to be chewing on that. No, because so I'm going to be chew. cooking this fast and furious, mm -hmm. bro. Dude, put that 
fat side down. Over here? On the griddle. Oh, rendering let, fat. Let it start rendering. Cooking the beef in the beef. We're rendering fat. You know what you can also do when rendering fat? What? Make soap. Make soap. First we render fat. Dude. All right. Let's do this other guy. Okay. While our fat is rendering, I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and cube this up and then get this ready by seasoning it with some olive oil and a bit of salt and pepper and down she goes on the griddle top. All right, boys, so as you can see here, we've got our fat that has been rendering. Oh, come on. Yeah, boy. Yeah. So. Where's not want not? Where's not want not? So let's bring that fat in right now. Oh, oh dude, decent. that's a great idea, man. Decent amount of fat. I'm impressed. This is not your first rodeo. What? Although, old. Is he trying to compliment me? Although, old and useless behind, behind the, the wheel. wheel. Senior citizens. Senior citizens, although slow and dangerous behind the wheel, can still serve a purpose. The veggies are simple in this situation. I'm gonna have larger chunks of bell pepper and onion. So bell peppers. Like something else to pick. Well, top off. Cut off the top, yeah. cut off the bottom, find your way down that bell pepper canal okay. and roll it, chop it up. You got Channel. big chunks. Channel? Yeah. Okay, whatever. And then with our onions, basically we're gonna just clean it up, get rid of all that ugly skin and cut it into large pieces and throw it on. Let's start flipping our steak here. Oh, oh, oh come on. Yeah. And that is that's actually where, what we're looking for. That's where high heat comes into play. Yeah. Go fast and furious or go home. Now, I just threw some olive oil down over there. Gonna do a bit of salt and pepper Dude. on our onions and bell peppers. Can I peek at your butter for a second? Well, please, by all means. Wow. Look at that. Bubbly goodness. Bubbly. Where does that come in? It's gonna come in here in about pizza dudes got 30 seconds. And pizza dudes got 30 seconds. 30 to 60 seconds? Ring it and bring it, bro. Let's ring it and bring it, dude. And that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like crumbles. it. What? <laughs> and that's the way the cookie crumbles. 30 more seconds, and this sucker's really got to kind of glaze it. enough, dude. High heat. Sometimes people get afraid of high heat. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and the beef That's fat, what I said. The beef that's fat. what I said. Dude, why do you got to step in all the time? I've already said all this. In, Speaking I think... of stepping in, hey, CJ, did you know... Actually, do you know which person directed any of the scenes that Quentin Tarantino was on screen for Pulp Fiction? What? Like the other actor. He couldn't direct? Doesn't Stallone direct even while he's in front of the I camera? I feel like, is he not as good as Stallone? Okay, let's not even go there. It's Robert Rodriguez. <laughs> let's do a little glaze here now that we are pretty it, much... Take it to Tangy Town? Tang it, take it to <laughs> Tangy Town. We're going to do... No, no, I don't want this swimming in this. I just want to do a lot... Oh! Wow. The Tangy aromas. Town. The aromas. And you're the mayor. Dude, this black stone. Oh, wow. Searing stone. Dude, I can totally smell it over here, too. Oh, and so you yeah. Keep, I feel like you're neglecting your butter. I'm not. Bell peppers and onions, I don't want to get them mushy. I still want some bite to them. Yeah, so fun. now we're, we're going to bring these over here. Check this out. All right, boys. HDS coming through. Got, Got a, a package, package, people. Got a package, people. I'm going to go in now. Over our steak, bell peppers, and our onions. Yeah, I think it's a lot of butter, too. I know, I know, I know. They can take it. Ready for it. Let's just oh, check it what? out. I'm going to fish this guy out. Yep. I'm gonna fish that's a pro move right there. Some of this garlic is going to come hang out. I think that that's it. Oh, check this out. Hold on. Yeah. Second mash. Second mash. Look how soft they got. Yep. They were stewing in butter. All right. Now we're just going to all together and this is oh, done. Man. Ethan, it's time to plate it up, bro. Alright, come on over here, boys. Where am I going? Come over here. Whoa, you're you're bringing all that juicy wetness over to this plate? Well, here's what I, I think is a much smarter idea. Here we go. Watch this. So, I'm here for you. Thank you. Thanks I just for being Robert there for Rodriguez. Me. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> so wait, wait, you're directing, but yeah. I'm still on camera. I mean, yeah, I'm, that's, that's, oh, that's the whole that, point. That's the point. That's the whole point. Oh. So we're going to make a mound here. Dude, this looks money. And so as it's been sitting, it's had time for uh, some of this serve and sear Carolina tangy to start to reduce and thicken up. And glaze. Oh, glazing up this bad boy. All right, last bit coming right over the top. I'm going to go ahead and kill the, kill the power because hover bullets can't go on water unless, unless you've got, got power. power. Unless you've got power. <laughs> Our steak is gonna rest. It's had a rough afternoon. You guys, stressful day. You guys have had a stressful day. We're gonna make a special sauce. 
Now sour cream is gonna be the base of this, but we're also gonna be compounding the flavors that we're currently working with by utilizing our Carolina Tangy mm -hmm. Serve and Sear. It's a good one. So this is gonna thin it out a bit. Also, it's gonna... Um, this is about equal parts, a little more sour uh, cream. It's a little more sour cream. And then, 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 gonna go in with some of the steakhouse Ooh, decent seasoning. Amount. I and do. Then. And then. You know what? This this needs to actually thin out just a little bit more. Needs a little more tang. Ooh, look at that. There, hey, hey, there it is. Okay. Gonna grab a little bowl. Gonna drizzle this in. I'm gonna do a little bit of garnish. Got some Italian flat leaf parsley over here. Always flat leaf. Uh, yeah, the other stuff is weird. Just for presentation's sake, we're gonna uh, kind of just do one of these guys, one of these drizzles. Yeah. Spoon would have been better, but you know who's who's no, talking it about it. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't have been. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Couldn't. All right. Shouldn't. There we go. Top it with some of this parsley. Dang. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. There it is. You got an appetizer set. For Come any on. new year, Gorge. specifically 2022. Now the post dust is a must, mm. as I like to say. So clever. Can't forget it, so that steakhouse seasoning is going to be perfect as the post dust. And boys, here it is, a delicious wow. New Year's appetizer. Damn. Bro, I don't know, like, can you see like the juice that's Dude, down add here? some rice and that's dinner. I mean, this oh, is- Oh yeah, I'm going to acquire- Wow, oh, you're, you're going appetizer style? I'm going appetizer style. I'm gonna get that juice and I've got the sauce. Ooh, that's juice and butter. Let's see how we did. Champagne would fall from the sky. Champagne would fall from the heavens. Doors would open. Whoa! Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mmm. Dang. Yeah. The sauce. Bro. The sauce rules. How do you guys like your steaks? Leave it in the comments below. Are you a well done? Are you a medium? Are you a rare? He's setting you up. Don't say well done in the comments. That's just insanity, right? It is. But if you are going to be hanging out in the comments, Let's make that segue, because now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. If this is your first time watching this part of the show, this is the segment where I screenshot comments from you, the viewers. Who oh, you write it. We read it, because if it's on Facebook, Dance Instagram, or YouTube, I'm gonna see it and I'm going to either laugh or cry about it. <laughs> well, don't say it loud. I mean, I'm going to laugh about it all the time and uh, not go to a therapist. So this very first one, in no particular order, comes from Gary Hammond. He says, you guys are like bacon and eggs together, <laughs> plus some heavy metal on the side. Oh, well, we're, there we go, okay. There we are, cheers. All right, I dig that. There we go. This next one comes from John Cole. John says, Fritos needs to sign CJ to a contract. Before I started watching the show, I hadn't had a corn chip since middle school. <laughs> a Fritos, corn chip? Oh, it's a, it's a corn oh, chip. So, okay, yeah. It's a corn chip. Corn so chip. Fritos, if you're watching, call me. Call me. There she is. There you go. Hey, bonjour, boys. Bonjour, boys. This next one comes in from Lance Dean. It's pretty simple. Hey, it's Lance. Pretty, it's pretty quick. It says, Ethan should be arrested for food abuse. Oh, for dropping everything? For dropping the bandito specifically. Oh. Dude, that was a that was no a bell for you. No, <laughs> what? Can can he do that? The finger is in charge. Do it. No. Ah! <laughs> Them's the rules. Them's are the rules. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. This next one comes in from Yamvor44. Yeah. I don't think Kevin likes any movie clips. This is true. Me, on the other hand, enjoy them as they set your show apart. Yambor. Apart from what? That's a good question. <laughs> I do not know. You're in good company. Good company, I, my I, friend. I didn't mean to say it like that, but after hearing your Julian impression. This next one comes in from Don Marie. Hey, Don. Don says... Wait, like Donnie and Marie? I'm a little bit cowboy. I'm a little bit country. And I'm a little bit rock and roll. I'm a little bit rock and roll. I did not know <laughs> any of their actual lyrics. I'm glad that you did. Oh. By glad, I mean you should be embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Don says, the polka polka quote reference was uh -huh. perfect for a post Thanksgiving show. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for you, CJ. You never disappoint. Yeah. Don, you know this. I am thankful for you, Anne Marie. Yeah. Linda Selleck. 
Tom Selleck's Related sister. to Tom Selleck. Um, trying this one too, and I got a bell just to use with Blackstone oh, recipes. Oh, that's awesome. Also of you. Also of you. All three of us. Also yeah, of that's you the three. word used. Also, both of you sing so good. Oh. Nice voices. You so so nice. Make <laughs> me, me feel a good. Bosses will do terrible things to me. Terrible things to me. That's a decent. No. No. Okay, so this is kind of um, it's two different comments, but it's the same thing that they're commenting about, and it was way too funny. About bacon. No. Oh. Uh, way too funny not to use. Gina Buchanan says. Hey, Gina. Watching Nate, watching CJ, explain his dish is probably the most wholesome thing I've seen this week. Okay. And that was in reference to the All live right. we did the other let's, day. Let's not. We let's also. Not hang on oh no, we're gonna long. hang on to it. I'm posting the the screenshot of you it don't too. Have to. Jeff uh, and Sherry say that moment when Chef Nate looks at CJ and says, "Okay, proud of you." I admit, I got all the clipped. Okay. Talk amongst yourselves. It's fine. We don't. We can, do we they need, can both get a bell. Do we need to hug it out? No. Let's just ring it and bring it. And that wraps her up. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us. This, I think, is going to be the final one before the new year. We'll see. So, happy early new year slash yeah. we'll see you I'm excited for 2022. In 2022. A lot Dude. of new Blackstone users, a lot of new groups. How weird is that to say, 2022? Dude, we're, yeah. But be sure to go to blackstoneproducts.com for this recipe and a ton more. We got a lot of stuff to purchase on there. A lot of goods. Uh, goods. Also go to teespring.com where you can find shirts like this, hoodies, stickers, all kinds of fun stuff. In the meantime, this is CJ's first cooking show where we cook. And we quote. And we will continue doing it in 2022. Ring in the new year. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Same joke. <laughs> it wasn't funny the first time. Yeah.